Now we see a mini project backing up a folder into a zip file. To back up a folder into a zip file, as you go on, add new new file into the folder. You know that the folder need to be backed up every day. The name of the backing up folder has to be given in the different iterations. For example, first day if you are going to backup, then you should give file name as uh, ask python book underscore one dot zip. When you backing up in the second day, you have to give file name as als python book two dot zip. When you are going to backup third day or third time you have to give file name as als python book 3 dot zip and so on now to implement this project first we have to figure out the zip files name as a first step okay how to figure out zip files name for example, if you want to create a zip file for a folder in incremented version, then first you need to identify which zip file you want to create. Okay, the zip file need to be created to a particular folder now. You have to identify that folder also. Okay. Here in this program, they have identified C delicious, delicious folder in the C drive to create the zip file. Okay. The function name is backup to zip. The function name is backup to zip. Okay. In the backup to zip definition this is a function in the function definition okay this much inside the function what are the steps need to be followed first you need to import zip file and os you know that to create zip file you need zip file model and os is the model to list or to get uh, path exist command etc now in the back to zip function which receives a particular folder to zip the first step is getting the absolute path of the folder by using this statement okay folder equal to os dot path dot absolute path by using that particular folder name now if the zip file name already exists how to check it we can check it by using this code first number equal to one then while true inside the while loop you first give our frame zip file name how to frame zip file name by using os.path.base name base name of that folder okay plus underscore next str number next plus zip the base name gives that folder name and then underscore number is one dot zip it gives a file name in this way for example, when number equal to 1, then for C delicious, it gives the number as C delicious1.zip. Okay. 
next when number equal to 2 it gives the file name as delicious 2 dot zip like that till delicious dot zip okay n times see if the same file exists if the file name framed here is exist in that folder if words dot path dot exist if that full path exists then it try to create another name by using number equal to number plus one number becomes two like that when number is one first it creates os dot path dot base name with the file name number one dot zip like the delicious one dot zip delicious two dot zip delicious three dot zip delicious four dot zip okay it gone creates and if the path exists it come out of the while loop it come out of the while loop if sorry if that file is not exist it come out of the while loop if that file exists then it tries to create another file with different number okay now when that file not exist then it come out of the loop if that file not exist mean that file need to be created okay that file that zip file need to be created means it comes to this statement to create zip file to create zip file this is the code third step is second step is creating the zip file the code used to create the zip file is it displays this statement print creating percentage yes then the percentage zip file name next zip file dot zip file okay from zip file module zip file method zip file name comma w that is nothing but the zip file name you framed and opens it in the right mode and store to variable backup zip store to the variable backup zip okay zip file is created in the right mode okay and file descriptor is stored in the backup zip okay as the reference name once the zip file is created in the right mode the next step is uh, walking the directory tree and add to zip file you have to go through all the folder names subfolder names and file names in that folder and add it to zip file okay uh, how to add it to zip file by using backup zip dot write with the, that particular folder name okay once you write the particular folder name in the zip file next is getting subfolders and writing into zip file okay adding uh, before that you have to add all the files of that folder in the zip file to write all the files of that folder in the zip file you have to iterate through all the files in the file names you know that for file name in the file names uh, loop new base slash os dot path dot base name then the particular folder plus as underscore okay separated with underscore okay if file name start with the new base and if file name ends with the zip okay if the same file is zipped then no need to zip it once again okay the if the file is already zipped no need to zip it once again okay no need to backup okay no need to uh, backup 
the backup zip files okay therefore now if that file dot zip if that zip file does not exist okay then you have to write that zip file into the backup folder by using backup zip dot write os dot path dot join folder name with the file name okay folder name with the file name now see ya this statement this block of statement checks whether the uh, same file is there with the dot zip extension okay if uh, the file is there then no need to uh, create if file is already zipped then no need to create and write it to the zip file if file is not written in the zip file then you have to write that zip file in the zip folder okay now uh, like that for all the files it performs the same operation then the zip file will be closed okay thus by moving through all the files of the particular folder it writes to zip file by using backup zip dot writes when you try to run this program it gone displays this output adding files to c delicious because in the first os dot walk the folder name is c delicious and next the subfolders of c delicious okay its files will be zipped and added to backup that will go on add the files of subfolders into delicious dot zip by creating delicious one dot zip in the first iteration in second time when you are going to create the backup it creates delicious two dot zip and go on adds next it creates delicious three dot zip then go on adds okay like that n zip file will be created 